Tom and Johnny, thank you. Sounds like a nice party out there, Norm. You gotta be careful when you show Dennis going to the locker room with just shorts, <laughs> <laughs> right? You never know what you're gonna get. Well, what a great comeback. Bulls, by the way, outscore the Orlando Magic 55-35 in the second half. That's by 20 points. Well, I'll tell you what, I prefer if I gotta go down, if I gotta lose. I'd rather lose by 38 points than to have an 18-point lead and let it get away like that. That's gotta be devastating as far as I'm concerned. Orlando, to me, was out hustling, out playing the Bulls for a good part of this game. Then the Bulls just seemed to turn it on as, as Mr. Kerr uh, mentioned right there, the bench picked it up a little bit. Some good hustle by the Bulls, and finally they clicked and got, got it going. Bulls up 2-0 in this best-of-seven series, Game 3 on Saturday. But we've just begun here, folks. We're going to hear from all the key participants tonight, including the Bulls locker room and from the Magic locker room. But right now, our Briggs and Stratton power slam of the game go back to the third quarter in this one. Bulls rallying. Who else but Michael brings them back to steal the pass. Back to him, got the slam. I got Michael with a game high, 35. Bulls win by five. We're back with the Sports Channel Report now. Tonight on the report, Horace Grant finds use for his good elbow as Orlando looks for a magical solution to the Bulls. Norm's keys to the game focus on the boards and Orlando's tough task of taming the worm. And we'll go live into the locker rooms and get all the post-game thoughts from both teams. All that plus the answer to the Bears' burning off-season question. So when the team is the best body? Me. The surf's up on the report. Welcome to the Sports Channel Report. I'm Amy Stone. And I'm Steve Cashel. More from Tom and Johnny, Norm's Keys, and live locker room is all ahead. But first, game two. And following a 38-point drubbing of Orlando on Sunday afternoon, the Bulls tonight were bracing for an angry and fired-up Magic team, but without Horace Grant. Would the rebounding edge be even greater for the Bulls? Tonight, John Konkak would get the start, and it's flashback time. Remember 1984, MJ on the Olympic team. Look who was his teammate. Yeah, tonight Konkak is the opponent. And he started for the injured Horace Grant first quarter. Shaq delivering the rim rocker. Magic up four. They led 23-20 after one. Second quarter, more rocking and more Shaq. The alley -oop from Brian Shaw to O'Neal. Pulls down 10-30 to 20. Phil not pleased. But Rodman answers the rally cry in the second quarter. Sweet passing. Tony to the worm for the Pearl Jam. Bulls pulled it within six, 30-24. But it was mostly magic in the second quarter. Using the pick and roll, Penny doesn't uh, go the hard away. He goes the easy way down the middle. Horace, the magic bench. Saw themselves lead by 15 at the half. Third quarter, Bulls try and rally back. Michael to steal the pick back to MJ. Bulls cut a 20-point deficit to 14. Then the lead gets chopped to nine via the three, via the Michael. It would be closer, folks. I should say it would get closer. Off the alley-oop miss. Watch Pippen tap it out to Tony. Over to Judd Bushler. Judd nailing the three. Bulls were down two after three quarters, 69-67. Fourth quarter, Bulls up one and using the D. Pip in the steal behind Shaq, then to Michael, back to Pip. He finds Harper in for the lay-in. Bulls up 372-69. Then Bulls up two here when Nick Anderson goes rainbow, putting a three on the board. He had nine for the game. Bulls down 177-76, now tied at 81. Still two on one. Kerr and MJ, Steve Kerr with a little J. Bulls back up to 83-81. Then later, Bulls up five. Michael blocks Dennis Scott's shot. This is a big play right here. Look at MJ. Cramps and all. MJ getting it done on the defensive end. Then the capper. Michael finds Scotty underneath. Nice fake. Pip and the Bulls come back and win. Michael with 35. Pip with 17. Rodman with 15. And the Bulls win it by five, outscoring the Magic. 55-35 in the second half and overcoming an 18-point deficit. So Bulls are up two games to none in this best of seven. And the rest of the games are on NBC from here on out, but that doesn't change the place to be for post-game. Saturday's game three and Monday's game four are both at 2.30. As soon as they're over, switch it over to Sports Channel for all the post-game live locker room coverage you know and hope we love. That's Saturday and Monday, and every day and every night the Bulls play from here on out. Still ahead, 
as the report rolls on for a Tuesday night. Norm's keys as we break down the reasons behind the Bulls win in game two. Plus, live in the locker room as we hear from both the Bulls and the Magic. And later, bear as you dare. We'll hit the beaches with, with the monsters of the Midway. Keep it here.